Good morning, it is Wednesday morning and both the girls are off at school today. Isabella has her full day of school and she has a special science club after school today so I'll have to pick her up a little bit later than usual. And Natalie has a little extra morning class today and then her regular afternoon class. So I've got some extra time to myself but I am waiting on a contractor to come over to the house to fix some things going on in the basement still, so it's ongoing. But I just went this morning and got my pre-Disney World haircut, as it's become ritual to do. I um, got it cut, like, so it's a couple weeks, and I'll have a couple weeks just to kind of like settle in, and then I'll probably color it myself. Um, I don't know, the next day or two. I, I just like to do that like a couple weeks before I go to Disney World because I know how many pictures I'm gonna be in. So anyhow, it's just become a routine. So I went and got the haircut this morning, so it should be a little bit shorter and uh, it feels like a lot lighter. It's amazing, like even when you have short hair, how much of a difference is taking a little bit off if you have like really thick hair. I have tons of hair tons and tons of hair. So it's amazing like whenever you get your hair cut, like how much lighter it feels, even if you already have short hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some vacuuming and I'm pretty much gonna be hanging out to see if the contractor, well the contractor's supposed to be here in about 20 minutes. And then I would like to go to Home Goods later to see if they have that table. Hopefully it's not gone. But I'm thinking I'm kind of leaning heavily towards getting that. And also, Isabella made the cutest Rube Goldberg machine. It's one of those like little mouse trap things where if you do one thing, it causes a chain reaction and it, it does something simple. And then Isabella took it upon herself to make her own alarm clock last night. And so she like pops out of her room and she's like, okay, I wanted an alarm clock. So this is what you need to do. And she set that up. So I'll see if I can insert that little clip of that here. Didn't work. <laughs> it worked for the other one though. <laughs> Did it wake you up? <laughs> what do you think? Did your creation work? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd Patches go? Oh, Patches <laughs> fell over here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So she was having fun with that and I was just chuckling to myself. I was like, she is a mini version of my husband. She's like a mini Daniel running around my house. <laughs> because, you know, like me, I would have just asked for an alarm clock. Not Isabella, not Dan. They have to make an elaborate contraption that wakes them up in the end. So anyways, I thought that was cute. So I'm gonna go do some vacuuming and get some things in around the house and I don't really know what else is gonna go on today because I don't know how long the contractor is gonna be here. The guys are all done fixing the stuff in the basement and they've headed out so I'm gonna go try to run over to Home Goods and see if that table is still there and I'm just gonna consider it meant to be that if it's still there then I'm meant to have it and if it's not there then I was not meant to have it and that's the logic that we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna run back over to Home Goods and see if the table is there. I just think it'd be good in the space um, even though it's going to be really monochromatic because the Radon stuff is kind of the similar color. I like that that one had two shelves as opposed to a lot of the other ones I've seen, even online I've been looking, have only one shelf. Or they have drawers, like a lot of drawers. And so for this, I want it to be like a visual thing where I can display the stuff, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. So I'm not wanting like a huge hutch or anything. So I'm thinking, hopefully... This would be the right way to go. So I'm gonna go over and see if they still have it. Got we'll all of our cruise goodies sitting out on the table here and getting ready to start packing soon. So those videos will be coming up shortly. They'll probably be coming up next week because I have a couple more videos that I wanted to get done for you guys for viewing this week. So then I'm probably trying to move all the packing videos to next week. But I'm gonna start getting everything together. It's exciting. All right, success. They had it, so it is mine. I'll show you when we get home. And I think that I'm probably gonna be on break for the rest of the month, which is only like a week. But I think I'm gonna be 
<laughs> break like through the I need to focus on trip stuff now we'll just put it that way um so I think I've done pretty good collecting now that I have like a place to put it and I have stuff to put on it and we're good to go so um I'm going to go run to the gas station and then it's going to be time to pick up Natalie at school it was a quick day again <laughs> well hold on a second so uh N Natalie's home from school obviously because Natalie's sitting right there and this is the little thing that I got at Home Goods, which was not intended for Camille, but she just ended up on there anyways. So what I I'm think, put her on well, pull her off because I'm going to put dishes down there. So what I'm planning on doing is configuring this somehow, and I want this to be underneath this shelf. So I want the kind of cream one to be over here. And then I have to unload this because this is really heavy because it's got so many books and you know all that stuff down here. But um, I'm gonna unload this and then move that over here so it can be underneath the kids stuff and then all the kids stuff's over there and all of the adult my stuff is over here. And then I think that that should look pretty good. So you can kind of see I can get it all into one frame this mug rack here with this underneath and I think that should be I think that should be good and actually these two pieces go together better than I thought as I was thinking about painting this gray but now that I see this in here it's a cream but it has a yellow undertone and this is like a really like pale yellow yeah. I think that they go pretty good together actually yeah 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 so now I don't know if I'm going to worry about painting that which saves me some hassle hooray yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then in here, I was just playing around with this a little bit before we have to go get Isabella. And I started pulling the snowflake pillows off, which I may just put them up there on the window seat for some decoration right now. But I originally, I already had these pillows on the ends from at home. They were only like $12.99 and I originally bought them for our couch downstairs. But actually, I just tossed them on here and I kind of like that. So what I may do is see if I can go back and find two more and then they can go over there. And then I'll put those downstairs in the family room. What? It's done? <laughs> Apparently Natalie's show is done. So we're getting ready to go get her sister. Um, but I'm liking these changes. It really, it's amazing how much like lighter pillows brighten everything up. I feel like it brightens everything up. Do you think it brightens everything up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, these are all of our things, so we gotta start packing to take with us. Purple, purple. Purple, purple. Blue, blue. Yeah. Red, red, red. Red, red, red for Valentine's Day. Those are our Valentine's Day magic bands. Yellow. That's Natalie's. Blue. It means caution. <laughs> and we're gonna put that on you when you go see the characters. <laughs> Back home from picking up both the kids and they're playing upstairs. I'm gonna start working on dinner and I think I'm gonna make grilled cheese with some soup on the side and that's gonna be dinner. So I'm gonna start working on that because it is fine. So for our grilled cheese, I'm actually gonna use cheddar cheese because we like the flavor of that. So here's what the kids look like. I just kind of took the soup like broth off and just gave them the kind of rice and beans and meat from the soup and then we have the grilled cheese and this is going to be our dinner. So that is it for the vlog today. I'm going to end it so I can do some editing and I'm also going to move those cabinets around hopefully real quick and get that sorted out and I'll show it in tomorrow's vlog when it's a little bit lighter outside. So hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along today. It's been fun doing the Ray Dunn hunting. I am just tiptoeing into the water here. Um, I, you know, I'm in some Ray Dunn groups now and I follow like people on Instagram that are into it and I've, you guys have recommended a couple of YouTubers which I've enjoyed starting to watch as well. So, um, I, while I think I've dove in quite quickly, <laughs> so I don't even have near as an amazing collection as some of these ladies do. So there's really some, I just love like the presentation of it. I'm, I was flipping through pictures on my phone after I put the kids to bed. It's just fun to like look and see how people display the things and it's just just kind of neat and whimsical and fun. So I'm gonna um, get those cabinets sorted out and I'll show it in tomorrow's vlog and that's about it for the evening. I have no idea if my hair is all crazy because I was laying down on my bed looking at pictures so if my hair is all crazy, sorry. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.